Okay, Cayman, so let's take a look at this and let's see a few things that we can do to help um, boost this design. So um, first thing I might suggest is the number one thing that stands out to me is like just a thing that will make it harder for your audience is the readability of this text right here. So you can see that if if I take that and I put it on top of here in a white color, that does help, you know, especially if you use kind of the black as a, as a drop shadow, that does help. What will probably help even more is to make a shape you could lower the opacity of this, um, or you could make just a um, custom version of this shape right about here. I'm just going to freeform it really quickly. There we go. I'm just going to go away on these sides and shorten that up some so that was a little bit closer. Um, so as an example, you could take that and fill that up with, let's say black in this case, lower the opacity and also move that back a little bit. So that's one layer behind the text now instead of in front of the text. And that will make it, of course, easier to read is to um, make this not quite as contrasty either by making the shape um, the, the egg shape itself, a lower opacity or laying another shape in between it and the text and making that a lower opacity as well. There are some additional things that you could play around with in terms of the effects. Um, but for the most part, I think that that should, that should um, be fine. You could of course apply, apply filters or other things, but I think that that would work fine. Um, so that will help to make this more easily able to read because that just is not very readable. One, the black is too low contrast to the purple. The white helps. But two, it's also just too busy. And so by playing around with that a little bit, you will get easier to read text. Um, next things are just going to be some things to help with your stylization. Um, because right now what I don't feel is I don't feel a unity between all of your elements. Now, I think that there's great unity between the eggs and what's going up on the top. And that helps to create some nice balance. Um, but on the in-between, these shapes and their choices don't feel as unified for me. I want to show you something that might be helpful to you. Um, if you're trying to create this kind of sinuous S shape, let's take something called the we're going to hit the pencil tool so if you don't see it it might be under the paintbrush but let's hit the pencil specifically and then with the pencil can of course it can help you to create these sort of s curves so let's say that but then also you can go into object you can hit the path and you can hit the smooth option right there and you can smooth out those curves. Of course, if you go too far, you know, you'll get really whatever, but you can hit some of those S curves. And then after that, if you find the width tool, you can see right there and there, you can create in this path. This would be good for me. The paintbrush tool first. To give it a stroke. Oh, you have to give it a stroke first. So, so what you can do is you can create the pencil tool. We can make some kind of a shape. Then you can go to object, you can go to path, and you can smooth it. And that really helps to clean up your work, especially if you don't have a stylus. And then you can go to the width path make sure you have a stroke on there if you have zero for your stroke it may not work well but if you do have a stroke on there then you can select it and you can make these really nice curves that i think will work better with the idea of the s so something like that would work better and i think that would also work better here as well the tree yes i understand that there is supposed to like be something that is involved with the snake's environment but even if you took that and kind of played with having it be 
combined with this, and yes, I'm probably going to have to narrow that down some. So it does take a little bit of playing with. There we are. That's what it was. Um, so you can, that might help you to get more of those curves that you are looking for. And then as we kind of saw in last class, and you may have already figured that out, this might be traced, but this might also be your patterning. If you have not already figured it out, then yes, going into stroke, um, going into, what is it, your swatches. Let's open up your swatches panel real quickly. So once you've got that open, your swatches are right here. You can go to the library, do patterns, nature patterns, and animal skins is an option. Um, and we're going to make that, there we go, and that, see, that was an accident right there. We need to make that transparent, and that right there, and then boom, you can do some really nice snake stuff um, throughout here. So that's a really cool option for you. And then I probably would say that the white background as a default is not the best choice. And you can edit these swatches too. So if you wanted to make this closer to your colors, if you wanted to make it purple or a different shade of green, then just click on the swatch. Let's see, cancel. It might be double clicking the swatch itself. Ah, when you click on it from there, from the swatches panel right there, you can go into here and you can actually edit the colors of the swatch by clicking on the shapes and then either coming from your library and pulling your color out of your library or, you know, adjusting the color right there. So that is very possible to do. And then you just hit escape until you get out of that. Um, so that helps you to do that. And then I would say for your background, I probably would not leave it white because white feels a little bit default and boring i would probably i mean you could you could do a variety of colors probably either a light version you could either go black and then you know invert these colors that could be interesting if, if it was black and then this text was white but the black may not work very well against that so you may choose to do either a light blue or a i'm sorry a light purple or a light green so if i took your green right there and maybe lightened it up a bit to right there and use that. Probably I would get also a border around this. So let's make it. Um, let's take the color from here. Convert it, increase the stroke. That can be helpful. I don't know that the starburst necessarily, and of course you can, you can play around with that, probably putting that stroke to the outside of the box. There we go. Um, will be helpful. That can be nice. The starburst perhaps doesn't really convince me that it's, uh, the most appropriate shape, you might try something like a leaf shape to be closer to your theme right there than a starburst itself. So um, going to here and looking up leaf shape. Seeing what we can get out of that. Sticking with vectors is probably best. Um, let's try some like leaf icon, which might give you a more simple image. Yeah. So, um, the, a leaf shape may be easier to work with for your design, just choosing one that's going to feel really solid. Okay. So something that's getting a little bit closer, um, you know, getting even more specific may also help you. Um, so considering something maybe a little bit more specific than the Starburst as well. So if you do a couple of those changes, I think that you'll be good. You're on a good track. I think there's just a few more things that you could do to really make this feel unified and a little bit more cleaned up. 